Hello and welcome all. My name is Khanam and this is my third video in PHP CRUD series. Okay, in our previous video, we have seen how to insert the data inside the database. And here in my database, I have inserted these two values, Khanam and Sita. Now here, I'll just show you again. I'll just give here Ria, first name, last name, I'll be giving Sharma. Email, I'll just give here Sharma at gmail.com and name, mobile i'll just give some random number i'll submit you can see i'll be getting this message data inserted successfully now inside this i'll just refresh my database and here i'll be getting that data okay that data whatever i inserted that will be stored inside my database okay we have already seen in our first video we have seen how to create database how to create the tables how to connect to a database and in our second video we have seen how to insert the data inside the database Okay, I have written the code for this inserting. We have already done this. Okay, now in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to read the data, whatever data is available inside the database, how to read that data and how to display that data inside our website. Okay, so for that here, I'll be creating one file. I'll give my file name as read read.php. Okay, you can give any file name. Now inside this file, first I want to connect to my database. I'll just write here PHP syntax and here I'll be including that connect.php file so that I'll be connected to my database connect.php. Now inside this read.php, I'll just come to bootstrap, get started, introduction and inside this, I'll just copy this starter template. I'll copy this one and here I'll be pasting that template. I'm just going to remove this entire thing and also I'll be removing JavaScript code from here from here till integrity i'll just remove this okay this is the starter template of bootstrap so that i can use bootstrap in this file as well here i'll just remove this title i'll be giving display display data i'll save this now here i'll just copy this path and inside i'll just paste the path here and instead of this i'll just remove this here i'll be writing local host i'll enter you can see I have this output hello world which is displayed here okay which here I have this and that is been displayed now I'm going to remove this here I'll just create one div and for this I'll give the class name as container okay these are bootstrap classes so you don't have to worry about this and from top and bottom I'll just give margin for this I'll save this now inside this div container I'm just going to copy and paste the table code now inside bootstrap website here you will be having on left side you will be having this content click on this tables okay here you will be having all the tables data okay all the table code whichever table you want you just copy the code of that i'll just select this random okay i'll just select this first one i'll copy this code and here inside this div i'm just going to paste that one i'll save this now if i show you the output you can see here i have this table first last and handle now we are going to create our table like instead of this first here i'll be writing serial number second i'll be writing first name third i'll just write last name fourth i'll be giving email here and fifth i'll just give i'll just copy the same thing and here i'll be giving mobile I'll save this now from here I'm just going to remove all the TRs and I'll keep only one TR that is table row I'll save this now this is ID first name last name email and here I'll just create one more table data and here I'll just give mobile I'll give some random mobile I'll save this now if I refresh this you can see I'm having this data serial number first name last name email and mobile now here I want to display the data from my database now inside this table I want to display the data from my database whatever data I'm having inside this database this data should be displayed inside this table and okay, now here if you see I have only one table heading and I need only one okay this table row should be updated and each time I should be getting okay this is one table row data this is another table row data and this is another table row data so each time i have to display table row so inside so for table row i'll be writing php query and this i'll be wrapping inside echo okay here okay this i need only once so i'll just keep this as it is now here i'll just open this php syntax i'll just close this one 
Now inside this PHP syntax, I'll just write one query that is selecting all the data from the database. I'll just write here select query. I'll just create one variable SQL and inside this I'll be writing that select query. Select star means I'm selecting all the data from the table. Select star from table name and my table name is, I'll just come here inside my database my table name is series crud i'll just write that one my table name is series crud okay i'm selecting all the data from this particular table now to execute this query i'll just create one variable my sqli query and here i'll just write this my sqli query and inside this it will take two arguments first is connection variable and second is query variable now here okay now once i have written this query i have stored i have executed that query here I'll just write one method my SQLI fetch fetch asoc and inside this I'll pass this result variable. Here I'll just create one variable row and inside this I'm just storing this fetch asoc value and here if I just echo echo and here I'll be giving this um, row and inside this I just want to print f name. I'll just give this f name here. I'll just remove this from here. I'll just save this. Now I, I'll just come here to display data. If I refresh this one, you can see I'll be getting this khanam. Okay, whatever value I'm having inside this database, the first data that is first name khanam will be printed. Okay, if I give F name, first data will be printed. If I just give here L name, email, mobile, I'll just give here L name. Here I'll be giving email and here I'll just give mobile. I'll save this. Now if I just refresh, you can see first name I'm getting, last name I'm getting, email I'm getting and mobile I'm getting. If I echo this data, okay, this value, this fetch asoc method is going to give me the data whatever is present inside my database. This will help me to display the data inside my website. Okay, if I give like this, okay, only the first data whatever is available inside my database that is being printed here. Okay, you can see here that is being printed here but i want all the data whatever is present inside my database that should be displayed in this table so i'll be using while loop okay now here whatever i have written here i'll just create while loop and inside this while loop this entire thing i'm just going to pass i'll copy this here i'll be pasting that one okay now i'll just remove this now inside curly braces if i just give this one I'll save this and I'll just comment this one. I'll just refresh this one. Now you can see inside my while loop if I give I'll be getting Khanam, Sita and Riya. Okay, all the F name whatever is present inside my database that I got as an output when I just wrapped inside while loop. Okay, if I just give this three condition as well inside while loop, I'll save this. Now if I just refresh this, you can see all the data whatever is present inside my database that is being displayed here. But now I want to display that data inside this table. So for that, here I'll just remove this echo from here. I'll just create one variables. Okay, for each I'll just give here equal to and for first name I'll just create my variable f name. Last name I'll give l name. email i'll just give email and mobile i'll be giving mobile okay now this values whatever i got here this values i have stored inside this variables now all the value all this data whatever it's visible here that is stored inside this particular variables okay now instead of echo this entire thing if i just give here echo echo and i'll just give here f name dollar f name I'll save this. You can see I'll be getting the same output Khanam, Sita and Riya, which means that all the all this data is being stored inside this variable and I'll be getting the names whatever is present inside my database. Now in place of this, I want to display the entire data in my tables. So to display data in PHP, we will be using this echo. Now inside this inside single quotes i'll just copy this entire table from here i'll just copy this one and here i'll be pasting that table and from here i'm just going to remove this i'll save this now if i show you the output 
now you can see here in my table i'm getting this three data mark 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 auto three times i'm getting because only three data is present inside my database now here i'll be adding one more data i'll just add here uh, here i'll just write one data i'll write sanya second i'll be writing ss email i'll be writing sanya at gmail.com and finally i'll be writing here mobile uh, some random number i'll click on submit now data inserted successfully if i come to this database i'll just refresh this now if you see here this sanya ss and sanya gmail.com is been added inside my database now if i come to display.php and if i click on this if i just refresh you can see again this data is been added okay now instead of this hard coded value i want whatever data is present here that i want to be displayed okay so instead of this id okay for id also i'm going to create one variable i'll just create one variable here id and i'll just give this dollar row inside this i'll just give this column name that is my id and here i'll just concatenate whatever i am having i'll just write this id okay this is called as concatenation this first string and this will match and this last string and this last string will match okay this is the string concatenation here instead of this i want to display my first name so here i'll just write first name i'll just write dollar f name because in this variable in this variable all the values will be stored i'm just writing that one i'll just copy this and here i'll be pasting that one and instead of f name i'll just change it to l name and again here i'll just paste that one i'll just remove this at and instead of f name i'll just give here email and finally i have mobile i'll just remove this i'll just remove this and i'll be giving mobile here i'll save this now whatever values whatever value i got i'm just storing inside this variables and using this string concatenation i'm just passing that values here now if i just come here now if i just refresh you can see all the data whatever is present inside the database that is being displayed to me here okay you can see whatever data is here i got here okay that is being displayed okay this is how we are going to display now here i want to add one more heading which will be having update and delete buttons so that i can perform update and delete operation in this particular table so i'll just come on top here i'll be creating one more table header and inside this i'll just give the text as operations operations and here i want to create one table data okay instead of writing there i'll just write outside my php so that i'll be getting proper colors now here i'll just create one href i'll just give here hash and i'll be giving update again i'll just write here delete i'll just copy this table data from here i'll just copy this one and here i'll be pasting that table data i'll save this now if i just refresh this one you can see i have this update delete update delete update delete okay now i am just going to make it as button so for that i'll be using bootstrap classes here and here i'll just give class class i'll be giving btn and for this for update i'll just give here btn dark and for danger i'll just give here btn danger here also i'm just going to close this i'll save this now if i just refresh this one you can see bootstrap classes will be applied and this will be my output okay this is how we are going to display data using this using this mysql live fetcher we can get the data from the database and inside this query i am having this database and here i am just passing that as an argument now here i am just creating separate variables now if you don't create variables okay instead of writing i'll just comment this now instead of write i'll just copy this one instead of concatenation this variable i'll just write this entire thing okay i'll just write i'll just paste that one okay even this will work now if i just refresh this you can see here i'll be getting the output okay so this code okay this gets confusing at one point so i'm just creating separate variables and whatever variable i am having that i am just concatenating here okay you can just see it once i'm just connected to my database here i have just written the bootstrap template i have changed my title and inside this diff container i have just pasted this table 
okay each time i want to display table row so here i'll just create php i'll i'm just writing the query select star from table name star means i want to select all the data from the database and here i'm just executing that query using my sql like query and inside while i'm just writing this my sql like fetch assert and this will take one argument that is nothing but our result here for each values i'm storing that values inside separate variables and i want to print this table row each time okay whenever i enter data this data should be displayed so i'm just wrapping that inside while loop okay here i'm just concatenating whatever values i got here that will be stored inside this variables and here i'm just concatenating that one and that values will be displayed in my table here now i'll just come here i'll enter one more data i'll give my data name as ritu and here i'll be giving mishra email i'll be giving mishra at gmail.com and mobile i'll just give here one two three four five six submit data inserted successfully i'll come to database i'll enter this one now you can see this data has been added ritu mishra mishra at gmail.com and this mobile number if i come to read.php enter now you can see here this data has been added now you can see here whenever i click on submit i will be redirected to this same page instead of displaying this data i want to directly go to this read.php file so i'll just come to index.php where i have written in insert code insert query here instead of printing this data inserted successfully i'll be writing this header and here i'll just give the location for that location and i want to go inside read.php file i'll just give read.php i'll save this i'll just come here i'll just give her one name i'll give her sharma i'll be giving ss ssa i'll be giving sharma at sharma at gmail.com mobile number i'll just give her 1111 submit now once i click on submit you can see here i am redirected to this read.php file and i got this output and here also this file is been changed read.php if i just come back i am inside index.php once i click on submit i'll be redirected to read.php file okay and i'll be getting this output okay that's all for today's tutorial in our next tutorial we are going to see how to update this particular data okay thank you so much for listening have a great day